Okay, so nothing is going to have power over me getting this video out, and I'm going to do it with knowledge and understanding and heart in a way that everyone understands. So when I was a little girl, I knew I was going to be famous. I didn't know how, but I knew I was going to be famous, and I carried that famous energy, that confident beast spirit, right? And slowly but surely, it kind of started dying out when I became a teenager, and I developed this passion for music in ways that incorporated it all. The voice, the instrument, and what came out of it. I knew somehow that I was the entire puzzle and was able to carry the energy of that entire puzzle always, no matter what. It's just sometimes the energy in that puzzle got mixed up or flipped upside down or to the side got mixed up because every person that came into my life needed the equal opposite of something that I had that would balance them out. So they needed to be able to see that and know once it flipped how to change it so one person might come into my life that is the equal opposite of my son and because they're the equal opposite of my son it flips something in order for me to see something different in order for me to become aware of something in order to transmute it in order to have something better right so my dream as a teen teenager after I met a couple of people who had a band who then introduced me to this place they performed at which became a true soul longing to have a place just like that but while being in that estab establishment connected to those people who had that band who all those things incorporated my soul's passion I also met a person who would end up staying in my life as somebody who truly and deeply cared about me and I them always for the next 19 years at least now who would actually be able to bring in for the rest of the cycles I had up until this point either a sliver or a piece of a sliver or an entire key to put my whole thing together who later actually had the opposite reflection of the thoughts I had on the karmic cycle. All leading to this point now. But but then the biggest soul passion of mine began to incorporate everything that I had learned up until that point and became its truest and highest form that was able to help people in every single way so not only did the band get paid because of that door fee that that person coming into it to see the band had to pay and the owner of the whole area get paid because of the customer also needing a drink and wanting to satisfy their thirst but the customer would then spread the word of the band if they liked them so then the band even though they were performing would get the the spreading of their music out and the owner of their business but the customer would then receive the training and the skills they needed in order to go about their lives to become the best person that they can be by receiving free pregnancy classes, free parenting classes, free knowledge. Knowledge that they weren't already getting from the parents that they already had or the people they already came into contact with. And that band needed those people to hear them so that the, the people that heard them was able to spread their name in order to get their message out. Well, that dream got a little bit bigger when I became an adult and developed a passion for dancing. 
that yes, might have been in a sexual format, but I knew that that had even more powerful energy to it because people who are coming there with the spirit of desire and lustfulness can then see that you can be desirable <laughs> and sexy and confident and still remain pure in heart. I knew that I might be undressing on that stage, but while I was undressing in that on that stage, I was looking them in the eye and they seen something within my eyes that they could feel the soul within me. And then I would go and connect with that person afterward and show them with my words with my body and with my spirit all that a person could be I always understood every duality and tool needed in spirituality but they all were missing something for me I didn't quite understand one key component to each one of those tools I wouldn't later understand any of the things that I needed to put all of this together until something or some other key came into my life, right? That helped put everything together. But then once I had the final awareness I needed, I would be able to bring every single thing together. That passion for dancing and that passion for reach out, for music, for soul and body development of everything, of balance. Because once I got the last piece I needed to put my whole puzzle together, I knew exactly what I needed to do to put everyone else together. Just as like astrology and human design and the birth chart and um, the idea of entities and energies and how those all come together along with archetypes and superheroes and every person you meet might have the equal opposite of what you are or they might have the direct reflection of what you are or equal opposite direct reflection. So you might have the opposite sun sign, but if your degree is wrong, your planetaries are wrong. So that changes if you are whether you are a twin flame, a karmic, or a soulmate. Once any of a twin flame, karmic, or a soulmate is able to balance themselves out, they became a full version of themselves, and the other person a full version of themselves. Any one of them can be together and have a complete happy life and spread the type of happiness into the world that needs them to balance out and become loved. But I wouldn't have even came to any of this had I not understood my karmic cycles from the complete equal opposite thought form that I was already understanding it from, which I would have never gotten into the understanding of that had I not met that friend who had been in my life up until this point for 19 years, giving me bits and pieces of the knowledge I needed to put my thing together. And I wouldn't understand how to put the, the spiritual level humanness into the thought form level humanness into the um, body level fullness until somebody who right now in my life is reflecting all of the things that came into my puzzle the opposite of my complete wholeness so my complete whole puzzle is the complete opposite reflection of me right now, which is who I'm dealing with as a partner right now. And they were talking about them being able to, trying to be able to get their company they work for to understand that just because he's a manager, he can't make his employees all do what he wants just because corporate wants that. That until corporate is able to work together with everybody, 
that he won't be able to work together with everybody that was able to make me come into realization of all this. So that business that was the venue became me knowing I needed to be famous and knowing that I was the complete wholeness somehow, but not quite understanding it, going into a teenager, having that passion and desire, but not knowing how to put it together. And it's still not even being quite as magnificent as it could be, became after that along with the complete the complete um, opposite reflection of all of those things which was the sexuality which became yeah even though that's dancing is a passion even though singing is a passion I don't think you're a good person because you do it in the wrong way but it was the right way for everybody that would visit those places it's exactly what they needed to be able to see it in a different fucking way. Just like they helped me be able to see that I am balanced in the most perfect way. That's what I was supposed to be doing the whole fucking time. And that then became a business plan of a strip club who has not only women dancing, but a um, men dancing a complete whole place for every single body whether you are straight bisexual or completely the opposite way and not only that but somewhere for even a younger version of us who shouldn't quite have that innocence come up yet and should focus more on just dancing in the normal flow of life can come and see who they want to see and it be okay not only that but that's just the middle so everything that a person who was visiting that place might need during the time that they're there they will be able to get somewhere in that plaza with all those things coming together laundromat daycare hotel car um work like mechanics of your car getting it worked on fucking yoga and tanning and laundry it just that's it but also separating each and every business to function by itself along with allowing each and every person who worked at those businesses to be able to have some type of um, discount and um, tab type of idea in order to benefit them even in their times of need that would just come out of their pay eventually everything that you could possibly need, need to make you the best self that you can possibly be being gotten in this one place in some type of way with the highest and greatest good of all involved not just the owners but the employees and not only the employees but the customers and not only the customers but all all the employees and customers children that normally a dancer wouldn't even know who to have watch while they're working will know who is watching their children that it is a qualified person and that your child will also be getting the education that they need to make them their best self <laughs> taking every piece and sliver of every situation every circumstance partnership that you could imagine bringing every single thing together in one place says I've always believed in a higher power I just never believed in the ideas of the higher power in the different religions that are available that's why I always took bits and pieces of every one that fit for me to make my higher power whole. Just as I knew the entire time after the last 
awareness key that led to my healing journey that I could channel. I had the spiritual gifts and I had all of them. I just only had the starting portions of them. But it's not that I didn't have just the starting portions of them. I was literally spiritual and the complete context, the full being, the fullest of spiritual gifts. But it wasn't until I remembered that that's what I was in the beginning that I received the fullness of those gifts. <laughs> Just as I'm also channeling in every form, a full trance channeler of complete ability to transform into that thing I'm channeling in every way. Physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, energetically. <laughs> And I can take those symptoms on in all of those forms. And take those symptoms on in all of those forms all at one time. Just as I can channel in every type of way. Light language with my voice, my hands, singing, talking, expressing. And I can work with energy in every way along with every single one of the elements along with had I not remembered my own trauma but I had to also remember and channel in the traumas of all of the other people even though it showed up with the same energy it didn't always show up in the same exact way which made me go side uh, trying to figure this out repeating loops and cycles continuously doubting myself until I realized that my dreams my channeling my speaking my singing not only me but everyone directly in front of me and everyone that I ever came into contact with in some type of way no matter how big or small so had I not sat and paid attention to the things that all of the people around me were also saying speaking and experiencing a piece or even a sliver of a piece of the true whole puzzle some type of way no matter how big or small wouldn't be able to come together. I wouldn't get there. We were channeling the energy of that. So I would channel in a dream that didn't seem real as me. I would say I was me, but I wasn't me. And I was actually them experiencing that trauma in my dream. But that trauma that I was experiencing in my dream that wasn't mine, that was theirs, and that experience was also mine in a different experience that was also tied into the dream that had four other people in it that I didn't know, but I knew that were also experiencing that. Nor would I have gotten anywhere close to completing this puzzle had I not experienced every possible trauma pain and fear that one could in some type of way and also been able to have someone else in my life bring in that same trauma fear or pain in a different type of way that then opened my awareness and horizons to the bigger types of ways which then brought everything eventually together i've always been able to do it it just wasn't at its fullest potential until i got the last key to make it balanced his message led me back to the beginning of my journal about karmic cycles. Cycles of shame, fear, and guilt. 
feelings of unworthiness, being unlovable, and being lonely. So even though I was channeling my inner child here in situations of, gear, of fear, guilt, and shame, I was also channeling every other person that had experienced those same types of emotions at some point, whether when they were dying in the nursing home or in a car accident or being sexually taken advantage of or even emotionally taken advantage of. First time was after my dad's accident. Dustin and I went to my uncle Johnny's and we're staying there. But my mom and my aunt Rachel brought children and youth there to get us, and I was screaming and yelling and kicking, and I was so incredibly scared that day that we were actually able to go temporarily live with my Aunt Rachel. I remember while I lived with her that things were decently calm. Well, I played outside a lot and she had me going to school regularly. I actually ended up getting extremely sick at one point. Ah. She put me into an ice bath, but my fever wouldn't go down, and she ended up having to take me to the hospital, and I ended up having to stay there for days and nights, and nobody stayed with me, so I remember being there, scared at night. I also remember my mom coming to visit and asking me to tell the nurse to bring her some ice chips. Oh, 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 oh my God. So fucking crazy. So, not only will my dad's and my husband dying right now, but last night I trance channeled. I literally called my brother right afterward because I was afraid that he was gonna overdose or something. This was the message. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mommy, please. Mommy, it hurts. Listen, listen. Do you hear me? We're eating fast. The sound of bugs and frogs. Anxious, scared, heightened senses on alert, having to try to turn on your brain. But it says, even though I meant to say that, I wrote it, Tum on your brain. Trying or trying not to hear or have thoughts read. Horny, cold, alone, sad, the smell of beer and piss. Fuzzy body sensations. Ears are clogging and unclogging and volume is lowering and then heightening and feeling of water coming out of my ears. Head aching and smelling pee and mold and not being able to smell. It's cold. I'm tired. I'm sitting on my bed. Feeling stuff on my skin and feeling something. Oh. Wanting to hold on. Just stop banging and more banging and breathing. Banging and creepy crawlies on my skin. It's really cold. <laughs> but I couldn't have even gotten into that awareness until I also had a tiny, small, almost lucid dream. Things are connected in ways that you can't even comprehend unless you have all the pieces to put them together. Like, like my dad's accident and then only a month or so later being in the hospital myself with ammonia and being alone and scared. Also, my grandmother spending months before she 
eventually died in the hospital in the nursing home and that's the same way that my dad is right now his accident he's in the hospital he being in the hospital caused me to regress because I remembered the trauma of seeing him in the nursing home in the first place before I got pregnant with my son Liam I had a miscarriage and during my pregnancy with Liam when I was coming up with his name I actually came up with my latest daughter's name who while I was pregnant with her her twin also passed away and then also while I was pregnant with Liam I was trying to help Kaylee dress more appropriately but she internalized that with eating problems and weirdly enough when I have the picture of my grandmother already passed away right next to my grandmother's picture that was sent to me is my daughter both in the same exact position both looking as if they're sleeping all things are connected some big some small May 4th, 344, 2023. There are many me's. I can be any one of them that I choose. I say who I am, speak it aloud in the mirror, and then that's who I am. I can transmute energy within and can transmute energy around me too. create whatever and whomever I choose. I can use this energy for their benefit or for mine. I am a sun and I'm a moon. I am a dragon and I'm a lion. Yet I've also felt like a little white cat. My cat stares at my lion through the glass. I can choose what happens after I live someone's life. What if it's always been good was actually evil? And what if evil was always actually good? What if all the things that we see as sins were actually the tools and experiences we needed to ascend? What if I am actually Satan? And what if I am actually the evil that created the hell? And what if it's actually my fire that can destroy it all? What if everything I've ever repressed was what united every sex? What if everything I've ever repressed was the very thing that balanced out all of the rest? Whether my beast within is the dragon, the lion, or the cute little white cat, I get placed in people's lives with one specific goal in mind. Shatter that very frame that holds together their glass. Hey.